Thus being fixed, one must render service unto the super soul, situated in everyone's own heart by his omnipotency. Because he is the almighty personality of Godhead, eternal and unlimited. He is the ultimate goal of life, and by worshiping him, one can end the cause of conditioned state of existence. Evang Satiti Satayva Sidja Atma Priyo Artha Bhagaman Ananta Tang Nidbitu Nyotat Bhajita Samishara Hitu Uparamasta Jatra So last night we discussed that why one should bother about his uh, maintenance and go to beg from a person who is very proud of his wealth. Uh, he can arrange his own uh, living condition. The living condition is ahara nidra bhaya maithana. So far one is in the renounced order of life. So uh, he should first of all renounce the sex life and the uh, state of fearfulness. Uh, <clears throat> that is renounced. Just like here there are many brahmacharis, sannyasis, they are supposed to be renounced order, especially the sannyasi. And manaprastha, brahmachari, uh, renounce, the first renunciation is to renounce sense gratification. Therefore, the person in renounced order is called sami. Sami means master or Goshami. So Go means senses, and Shami means master. One who has become master of his senses, he is Goshami or Shami. Otherwise, if one is servant of his senses, how you can be Shami or Goshami? Every word has got many. So one has to renounce, uh, this is material life. Material life means everyone is engaged for sense gratification. And that is taken as the advancement of civilization. Uh, the same sense gratification in different way, same intoxication, same meat eating, same sex life, uh, either go to club or naked club or this club, that means the practice is the same. Puna puna charbita charbana na. Repetition of chewing the chew. This is material life. Uh, so, renounced order means to stop, not stop, at least control sense gratification. That is renounced. And without being in renounced order, uh, you cannot uh, go to the spiritual world. Hmm? Just like if you, your, your hand is there, you have got something which is not very good within your hand. And if you want to take something better, so you have to throw it away and take it, the better one. You cannot keep the both things. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, what is the difference between material life and spiritual life? 
Material life means simply full of problems. Every step, padanga padanga jada bipadang, simply dangerous. Uh, we are riding very nicely, comfortably in a Cadillac car or better car, but we are riding on danger. That's all. We are driving any moment. The car may be smashed, especially in your country. Any moment. So shall I sit down at home? No. At home also there may be so many dangers. We are in dangers. Simply we are trying to counteract it. That is called advancement of civilization. The animals, they depend on nature's protection, but we are human beings, we are utilizing our higher consciousness, higher intelligence, the same thing. Uh, the Russia is manufacturing uh, what is called weapon, uh, the atom bomb, so nuclear, yes. And America is also trying to and the cat and dog, they are trying to protect by their nails and teeth. So the real question is uh, defense. Uh, so the defense is, it is not that because we have got better life uh, than the cats and dogs, we haven't got to defend. We have to defend. Uh, this is, but in a better way, not better way, after all, we have to die. So, anyway, we think that is a better way of defense. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama. 